5877 Leslie Road is back in the spotlight, otherwise known as the former Holly Road School. Attempts have been underway to convert the location into a women's recovery centre. The issue will be back before Council Monday night. It was a controversial issue for the last council, a proposed women's recovery centre in the now vacant Haldy Road School. The proposition met with a great deal of pushback from the residents of the area. It heads back before this new council for first and second reading of a rezoning application, but the society maintains the application has been modified. The first is that um, the zoning um, is site specific, so it will just be for that particular parcel of land and the rest of the air area remains rural residential. That was one of the concerns the neighbours had um, uh, at the previous zoning. The other thing is that we are zoning for a therapeutic community. This will only allow the maximum of about 30 beds, which is what we have applied for. The application is also for an amendment to the official community plan for the site only. Some of the most outspoken opponents were caught by surprise, but they say their concerns are the same. Haldi Road community's position has not changed. Um, we still have legal counsel and are seeking advice. Um, it's, it's disappointing. Um, we've had no contact with the proponents. There's been, um, our issues are still the same. We haven't, our concerns haven't been answered. There are still concerns around the issue of water supply and traffic, as were originally the case. So we have concerns about um, safety, about the about uh, property value, about um, their five-year plan. What is their commitment to our community? You know, um, we just haven't received that. Many of us, I've lived in Haldy Road for 20 years. We've made a huge commitment to our community, and we just would like to, you know, receive some feedback on that also. Dr. Michelle Souter says the current vacant site of the former school poses its own sets of dangers with vandalism and drugs. Having it occupied would eliminate that, but she fully expects there to be some opposition. Certainly um, we are expecting some op opposition. I hope that over time, the time that has passed, that um, people are more educated about it and aware that there will not be any drugs on the uh, premises, that it will not uh, uh, cause increased drug in that area and that this is a therapeutic community. The society cites a similar style of recovery center on Vancouver Island which has operated for five years without a single negative impact on the neighborhood. Cheryl Jan, CKPG News.